Hi, Brandy. Time to make this week's tea. Got my four glasses ready sitting over here that you can't see. Yes, I use my old peach jelly jars, whatever jars, in glass. Get my little bag of herbs. My little bag. My big basket of herbs. <laughs> now I'm mainly concerned with my keeping away my arthritis and my high blood pressure. So I start with some hawthorn berries. This is my pot. It's already got water three quarters full and I've had it on two since mm, probably for about the past hour. I would like now I, I'm trying something different where I actually slightly warm the water and then add my stuff. So I add lots of those. I use the same pan and I only use this pan for my herbs or nothing with, you know, other seasonings like salt, pepper. And then I'm going to add some Ganesha for my blood. <laughs> so cute, look. <laughs> I like to watch it change and morph into something different as I pour each one in. Um, sweeten it. Well, to me, this sweetens it a little bit. Some ginseng. And when I use the biggest one, I use, I fill the pot all the way to the top. And then about an hour later, I pour it out and I add more water. But today I'm just going to use a little baby one. Thank you, Tiptoe Chick. Beautiful stuff. And we're going to have some lip balm. I try to mix something different every week. It's going to be pretty powerful. This is going to sit here on two just about all day long. Um, Okay, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and put some jasmine in there. And some patchouli. Finish this one off since I got two brand new ones. Uh, um, jasmine. Actually, you know what I'm going to put in there? I'm going to put some catnip in there. Yes, really. Inflammation helps sleeping. I usually take my medicine at night before I go to bed anyway. But you know me, I do whatever Spirit says to do. Just a little bit of catnip. Um, what else am I going to put in there? Lap Sang. This smells so good. It smells like, um, uh, you know when you heat the wood, you let the wood smoke for a long time right before you barbecue, right before you put the meat on the barbecue? That's what it smells like. That smoldering wood. Oh, patchouli. It different, it's different every single week. A 
love this. This I got from the Fox's Glove on Etsy. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. And it makes like tea. Today I'm going to put a lot of this in. Normally Spirit tells me only just take, you know, two or three little tiny sprigs. That was probably about a, a tablespoon. It's really, if, for those who don't like a lot of yucky tastes, like my wonderful <laughs> um, turmeric. I had to actually go read about turmeric because I heard how bitter it is. Yeah, that was last week's batch. So last week I made two jars, right? And they were nasty. I mean, it tastes like rotten lemons or something. I don't know. No, imagine baby poop and lemons. That's what it tastes like, okay? So I'm going to make that tea by itself from now on. Um, what is this? This is raspberry leaf. from Earth Baby Elements, one of my favorite witches, and I probably shouldn't put this in there, but I'm just going to try it because I never, I haven't. It's kind of, it's kind of like um, batting, cotton batting, These, it's, it clumps together, but I'm just going to try it. have some comfrey root. Live my comfrey. Just order two more bags from Tiktok Chick. So, and you people that make the package herbs, don't use bags with the hole in the middle. Please. Consider not doing that. There we go. There it be. Maybe I'll have some calendula. Burdock. Okay. I think, okay, I think I'm going to stop now. I get the feeling to stop. With my little calendula flowers. Oh, what the hell? Go in there. So pretty. Look. I have a little garden in my pot. And I'm going to leave that right there until it goes to the bottom by itself. I have one top, because I don't have a top for this pot, that I use over and over and over. So only this top goes on this pot, and my little tea bag, <laughs> and it's going to stay there until, oh, I don't know what time it is now, but at least until it goes to the bottom, about an hour or two, three, because <clears throat> even after the stuff goes to the bottom, and you can see the brown water on top. I still let it sit until like midnight. So that's how I do. Oh, and then I put it in my jars right here that are already lined up, ready to go. I put my little sieve thing on top like that. And oops, like that. Pour the tea in, put it in the refrigerator, put it in the refrigerator, put it in the refrigerator, put it in the refrigerator. Because even because this mixture right here should be at least. Uh, a jar and a half and then I put more water in yeah when it don't turn brown no more then I'll consider throwing it away and then I put a um, paper towel down and I take some of the herbs out of the pot and I let it dry so then I can put that in food you know like if you're cooking collard greens or you know meat it's just another seasoning may as well eat it now that I've gotten most of the essences out in my juice. So, there you have it and there it be. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day, Brandy. Bye.